This is the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz, brought to you by Car Giant Auto Group. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a tough season for the Southwood Cowboys, but Jesse Esther's squad has never given up. And this week's Marketplace Chevy Player of the Week embodies that don't quit attitude perfectly. At this point, he believes that the yards are going to come through him. Joshua Ware doesn't go down without a fight, and neither do the Southwood Cowboys. Long, tough Friday night against Parkway. Ware credits a great relationship with this offensive line for his success. Uh, nobody see the work that they put in. These guys come out here, they you know consistently and block consistently in every play. And uh, sometimes, sometimes you know, I'm human. I make bad reads, and they get on me. They uh, treat me like a brother. Ware made all the right reads Friday night, racking up 30 carries for 275 yards and two touchdowns. His head coach, happy his senior has finally put it all together. Kind of started off rocking, uh, take some big shots, this, that, and the other. He now, he expects those shots. He wants those shots. He, he knows when he breaks into the open field, if a guy's not right on him, break away from him. Ware did just that on the play of the night, displaying all the skills in his toolbox planning a defender in the dirt with a stiff arm before hitting the afterburners. Uh, I uh, looked at the A-gap. The A-gap was closed. They had put everybody in the box, and I was one-on-one uh, -on -one with the uh, strong safety. And uh, my coach, uh, Coach Shea, uh, we practice stiff arm and spins, truck, and all that day that practice. We uh, work on breakaway speed because, you know, he be a running back without breakaway speed, uh, being strong and being physical. So they closed up the hole, and I just bounced outside. I see one man to beat, so I had beat Off the field, where is just as excellent? In the classroom and around Southwood's campus. He's one of the most polite, respectful kids on, on this campus. Um, just every time you see him, he's greeting you, very, you know, smiling. Never, I've never seen him upset. For Joshua Ware's 275-yard, two-touchdown performance. Oh, oh, player of the week this week. Here's the shirt. That's for you, buddy. I think it looks pretty good. Offers or anybody's looking at him. This kid's a real deal. I know Southwood's had a tough season. He is so much fun to watch, and I wish that Southwood had a better season because he deserves the recognition, and I'm happy that he was able to be the, the marketplace Chevy player of the week. Yeah, he, he's a lot of fun to watch, and talking to Coach Esters, he's only gotten better each week, meaning that they've broken down film. They say, hey, you need to improve in this area, and that's what he's done. He's literally gotten stronger throughout the season. Uh, I'm excited to, court, to, to, to see what could be available for him at the next level. Uh, all right, so if you want to submit a player for Player of the Week, it's not just football anymore. We're doing these for all sports. So please email us at sports at ktlnews.tv or DM us on Facebook or Twitter at KTL Sports. Just give us the player's name, school, and a little bit about why they deserve the award. All right, congratulations to Josh Ware. In one foray, North DeSoto and Northwood played for the league championship tonight in our Bargain Barn Autos Game of the Week. It more than lived up to that billing. Our Sam Rothman was there and has more. With the District 1 4A title on the line and the Falcons trailing at halftime, Northwood head coach Austin Brown said one thing to one player in the locker room heading into the second half. Marjavius Moss, go win us this game. And well, it looks like Marjavius Moss got the memo. Five interceptions for number five, capped off with the winning touchdown as he led the Falcons to the 13-7 win over North DeSoto for head coach Austin Brown's first district championship. I got two words for you. Marjavius Moss. He's got a knack, man. I've never met a kid that knows the game of football. Half of those interceptions, he shouldn't have been there to get the interception. But he knows the game. He knew what the offense was going to do, and he just made big plays. You know, I just feel it off, you know, my crowd, the community energy. Like I said, every third and fourth down, I try to pump them up. They, if they pump me up, I'm going. It feel good. My coach. Big five, <laughs> baby. Big five. Coach Brown, first district championship. All season long, all summer, all spring, we've been trying to be on top. We set out a plan this summer that we're going to schedule these 5A teams. Uh, we're going to test ourselves. 
And if, if we can if we can win a game or two, it's going to set us up in the top five ranking. And uh, you know it, the the plan has been working. The the next goal of winning a district championship is completed, and now it's uh, get to Thanksgiving and see what happens after that. And now the Falcons will enter the playoffs as the number three seed, the highest seed ever in Northwood history. Reporting from Northwood High, I'm Sam Rothman. All right, how awesome is that? First, you got the the, the performance from Marjavius Moss. You got Coach Brown, who's one of the best coaches in the area, deserves this banner that's going to be hung. And also to persevere, because this was not an easy game for Northwood, and they, they battled through it. It wasn't an easy game. It really also hasn't been an easy season. You heard them talk about really that tough pre-district schedule they put together. Uh, to, to come out the other side of that, to set themselves up, to do exactly what they wanted to do, to be in the position they wanted to be in in Week 10 and take advantage of the moment. You know, I, I keep seeing it all over social media, too, is, oh, my gosh, this guy had five interceptions. You know, wh why you keep throwing his way? You, you, Marjavius Moss was everywhere. He was yeah. all over the field. He, the field was his area, and, and if you were throwing the ball, it was it was going to be intercepted. Right. right. But just huge props to Northwood tonight. And then North DeSoto, too. North DeSoto also scheduling a very tough pre-district schedule. They're setting themselves up, you know, for possibly a sneaky playoff run, too. Yeah, no, they, they've been playing their best football. Tonight was their biggest test since that early district schedule. There were a lot of people who did not believe that North DeSoto could even hang with Northwood. They more than did that tonight. And like you said, interesting to see where the chips fall, where they fall in the bracket on Sunday, maybe set up a run in the court. We've got more scores and highlights on the way.